Module 4.3 The System Builder How to Build a Robust System Welcome to Module 4.3 of your Proform Professional Training Course. In this module we will look at how to create a robust system. This session is split into three parts Why Systems Fail, Creating a Robust System, and a Working Example. Why Systems Fail before looking at how to create a robust system, we first need to look at how not to create a system. Most punters will begin by analysing a chunk of data that will likely make a loss and then begin to backfit the system by adding rules until they see a profit. An example would be, backing all second favourites in the last five years makes a loss, but if you add in the following rules, SP odds of greater than 2 to 1 and less than 3 to 1, and only back in claimers, classified, conditional jockey, grade 1 and grade 2 races, then this would now be a profitable system with 80 points profit and a 30% strike rate over the last 5 years. However, this is a backfitted system. There is no logic to the filters. Backfitting is like taking a penalty with no goalposts in front of you and then picking up the goalposts and moving them over the ball. It looks like you've scored, but in reality, you are wide of the mark. We have to ask ourselves some questions about the filters we used. Why would the price range 2 to 1 to 3 to 1 be better than, say, 6 to 4 to 7 to 2? Why would second favourites only do well in claimers, classified, conditional jockey, grade 1 and grade 2 races, and not in sellers or group races? If you cannot justify a reason behind adding a filter, then you shouldn't add it. Creating a robust system. We have looked at how not to create a system, so here are some basic rules on how to create a robust system. Go through the logic of your initial system idea before applying any filters. The less filters you use in your system, the more likely it is to succeed. Only add a filter if there is some logic behind it. The less specific your filters are, the better. Use the system builder output fields to help quantify your system. We will now expand on the last point of the robust system rules above. When you run a query in the system builder, you are returned not only the profit and loss of the system, but many other variables. Some of these are key to helping you quantify a system. They are PL Betfair, this is the profit or loss to Betfair SP after commission deducted. The return on investment to the profit loss Betfair. Expected winners. The number of winners the system is expected to produce, which is calculated from the odds of each runner converted to a percentage chance. And note that the expected winners should be at least 5. This ensures your sample size is big enough. The A index indicates if a statistic is good or bad. It is the actual winners divided by the expected winners. An AE index of 1 means that the statistic is performing as expected. Less than 1 and it is underperforming. And more than 1 and it is performing better than expected. T score. The chi score tests the robustness of the system you have run. A chi score of above 4 shows a backing or laying system is robust. Note that the chi score is not meaningful unless the number of expected winners is above 5. The system builder glossary in the members area goes through these in more detail along with the rest of the fields and the filters in the system builder. Working example. Chester draw. I am sure the majority of you know there is a draw bias at Chester Racecourse, geared towards the low drawn horses. This is due to the tight nature of the course and because horses are on the turn throughout. So we have a logical starting point for a system. Let's take a look at the draw bias at Chester in the system builder and see if we can find a profitable system without backfitting the filters. So we are already in the system builder. And let's first of all analyse Chester Race Course by draw. So in the presentations 
we choose draw and run the system. This will look at all races at Chester through the entire scope of the database and present the results in draw order. And we can see straight away draw 1 and 2 both produce a profit to Betfair SP after commission. They have a good return on investment. They have made a profit to SP. The AE index is above 1. And they both have a Chi score of above 4. So let's concentrate on stalls 1 and 2. So in the draw field on the horse tab, we'll do less than or equal to 2. And we'll then present the results by the bottom line figures. So we can see there's been 447 winners from 2473 bets, an 18% strike rate, large profit to Betfair SP, a decent profit to SP, a decent A index score, and a very good Chi score. So even without any further filtering, this is a decent solid system. And if we present by year, we can see how it's performed over the years. And we can see there has been profits in just about every year, just three years, where it was a loss. Now we wouldn't need to add any more filters to this, but there are some logical filters we should look at. For instance, if we present the results by the number of runners in the race. Because our system is using stalls 1 and 2, we'd be backing two horses in every race. So it'd be foolish to look at two horse races. And the three horse races add very little to the bottom line. From four horse races onwards, the A indexes are above 1. So we would leave those in. So I would say this is a logical filter and we could take out races with less than four runners. So in the race tab and the runners field we would only look at races when it's greater than or equal to four runners. And if we run that again now you'll see they've disappeared from the report. So this is a logical system using Chester, horses drawn in the first two stalls, in races with four or more runners. And looking at the bottom line profits on a year basis, there would be no need in adding any more filters to this system. Of course that doesn't stop you having a look through and if you can think of a logical filter to add, seeing how it affects the system. Well that's it for module 4.3 training session. This module should help you when creating new systems or tweaking existing ones.